Find the perimeter when a side length is missing. I don't know what they mean there. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So here we are looking to find, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just disable the um, alerts for the time being because that's kind of annoying. Um, we're trying to determine the um, length of this missing side that we don't know. Now, helpfully, Khan Academy gives us three options, five meters, seven meters, or 10 meters. But as always, I really prefer to look at the situation first before we consider the answers that are given. We know that this entire side here is 10 meters. We are looking for this blue side right here. Perfect. That's just perfect accuracy on that pen, Cunningham. And what else do we know? Well, if we kind of if we kind of squash this together, we notice that this three meters plus the the whatever the blue is is going to equal a total of ten. This is like a perimeter problem inside the perimeter problem. Again, the 10 is working, is, is the, uh, the biggest number because it is the total length. You subtract the three meters that you already know, and that gives you seven meters for that side. And now we can add this up. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19... 25, and 7 is 32 meters. Yeah, it's not that the volume is high, it's that it sounds, it sounds to me like it's peaking, but I'll, I'll put it back in just in case. Um, the following figure is made out of a triangle and a rectangle. All of the sides of the triangle are the same length. So now we're just, again, being reminded of what the words... Regular, in fact, it doesn't even use the word regular, it just says the sides of the triangle are the same length, which means that that, or that side right here is 5. And this part up here is 23. Now, here is a place where some students might get a little bit confused because they drew this bit here, yeah? So is that part of the perimeter? And obviously, and I'm not, I'm not actually going to say obviously, but it's pretty clear to me as a lifetime math teacher that the answer is no. The perimeter only goes around the outside, the full outside of the total shape. But that's not necessarily immediately obvious, especially when that side is drawn in solidly instead of like with a dotted line or something. So it's a relevant question to ask and it's a relevant mistake to make and something to look out for if you're correcting papers or some such thing if they added an extra five then that might be why so we get 23 times 2 is 46 plus 10 is 56 is uh is my final answer oh what did i do wrong oh i missed the last five over here Yeah, easy, easy mistake to make. Good idea to um, take a lesson from this though. Yeah, I, I did not take that extra five centimeters into account. I was so busy making sure I didn't accidentally count this, um, this height here that I forgot about this one out here. Totally easy mistake to make, no shame in it. Let's move on. Label the missing length. So again, we've got two short lengths a three and a four. And those will add up to the big length, which is seven. And notice it works the same way up and down as well, right? If you take these two tops, for lack of a better word, these two roofs, one is five and one is four, and then the floor here is nine, five plus four. So if you're missing a side, you can sometimes deduce 
what that side is, using the other sides kind of as puzzle pieces or as clues. So 9 and 7 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I think I got 32. I'm not entirely confident in my counting right now. Got that one right. Very nice. The following figure is made of a square and a rectangle. So again, we are expected to label each of these sides. And it's always a good idea to actually label the sides. Because this is a rectangle, we know this is 8 centimeters from here to here. And by the way, notice how I'm narrating why I know that that is 8 centimeters, despite the fact that I have said that rectangles have the same um, sides opposite each other over and over and over and over again on this stream. And that is because you never know what new person might be listening. So when you are making mathematical arguments, you should get into the habit of saying why you are allowed to take the step you're taking, why you're allowed to make the label that you're making. Why is that eight centimeters? The why question is very, very important. You should be like a four-year-old. Always be asking why. Um, so since this thing over on the left is a square, we know that this side is five centimeters, specifically from here to here. And same deal with the bottom, it is five centimeters. And now we just have to add them all up. 5, 10, 15, 20, and uh, 16 is 36. Man, I hope I got that right. See, I'm a big fan of not putting a whole lot of pressure on students, um, but for God's sake, this is my job. <laughs> 